Hello and welcome to Creative TV. My name is Pinaki, your host. Many of you maybe want to learn how to create vector form a um, drawing of a cartoon character. So today I will show you how to do it in a very simple and easy way to achieve that. Adobe Illustrator is a great application to create vectors. So let's start the Illustrator. And now I'll create a new document. You can click here on create new or go to file and click new button and you can actually pick any size for this practice I'll create a new document with um, with 1920 by 1080 pixels so now we have the artboard ready to start the start the drawing so let's import the drawing file so I have that file saved in this folder this drawing so I'll just drag and drop it here and that's it so it's all imported by the way I have downloaded this drawing from Google but for educational purposes only as always I suggest you to draw your own character and work with it but if you do not have drawing skills and want to learn these steps just download it from search engine but bear in mind these downloaded content should only be used for educational purposes and not for commercial usage otherwise it would be really unfair to the main artist of that image and not only that it may be a serious infringement of copyright which is punishable act under copyright laws anyways let's start the process first of all we'll have to create a brush that flows like real life brush so we will select ellipse tool and create an oval shape and adjust the size so let's create it so I created this oval shape now I will pick the fill color of this as black and the stroke color as none okay so now let's zoom into it because it's too big I will make it small and I'll just ad adjust the size you can actually create any size but um, this this type of oval shape will create really fluid brush like a real life brush so that's the shape I've created for the brush now go to window and click on brushes so now that we have this brushes window now I'll just click that shape that we have created a little bit earlier and just drag and drop it here until we see that plus sign so I've just dropped it here and it's there now the new brush is asking for new brush type so select art brush and click OK so you can leave everything as it is you can create a new name so let's say drawing brush and you can leave all the options as it is and here on colorization method click and select tints and hit OK that's it we have now a working brush so let's select the brush and the stroke and see it's like a real fluid brush right so our brush is ready by the way for the brush shortcut you can just press B on the keyboard and brush will be selected if you click V on the keyboard then this selection tool will be selected So I'll be using lots of shortcuts for this video. I'll actually put the shortcuts on, on screen so you will know. And it is very important to use shortcuts um, when you are actually designing anything on Illustrator or Photoshop because that will give you an excellent workflow. 
so let's center this image it's not necessary you can do um, you can leave it like that but I'm just making it a bit larger so I can see properly so now click on layer option so go to window and go to layers so now we can only see there is one layer which only contains this image right so we will leave this layer as it is and create a new layer by clicking here create new layer so new layer has been created now I will go to first layer and because we'll be drawing and tracing the image so if we have this movable so it may maybe very hard to um, control ourselves and maybe we can just move this from one place to another so to prevent that we'll be locking this layer and bringing we'll bring the opacity down a little bit so that we can see and it'll be much easier to trace down the image so let's double click on that layer one so once this option comes click template and dim images to it is currently saying 50 percent but i personally like 70 but that's up to you you can choose any opacity level so now see this layer is lo now locked and set as a template so you can't actually move this or um, or do anything to this layer so now let's click on layer 2 and I'll just hide this box now I'll hide this box as well and select brush you can actually adjust the stroke value of it if it's uh, thicker you can just um, lower the stroke value and work with it but since this stroke is okay stroke level is okay so I'll stick with it and start the design tracing process right so I will actually start from the face and I'll start from here just carefully trace the line outlines of the face and the whole design step by step and one thing that you should remember that whenever you are actually tracing an, an image make sure whatever line you are do, uh, drawing each and every line should cross with another line like see I've, I've, I've just created this draw, draw this and now to do this here I will actually start from here and surround it like this so see these two lines has crossed over each other don't worry about the excess we can remove it later but if we don't cross these lines um, properly now it will be a big problem later on when we start the coloring process so let's do the other thing it is actually very easy to trace um, with the brush you can also do it with a pen tool but I personally like this brush so I can move freely and also gives a nice design as well and by the way I'm not drawing this with any any pen tablet or anything I'm just doing it with my mouse and you'll be able to do it very easily as well just be a little bit cautious and careful and it should be okay now I will just copy over this eyebrow to this side to do that I'll press alt key on my keyboard and just drag you can click you can actually press shift button as well to keep it aligned while we are moving this so I'll just bring it here and just drop it right click on it go to arrange um, sorry transform and click reflect and select vertical and press ok see that's much easier to do these eyes I will click on ellipse tool and create, create a 
circle <coughs> so now I've done this outer part of the eye now I'll do this inner part so I'll draw this eyeball now so now that we have a circle there we can actually just copy and paste it in place so we'll we'll press command C or control C on keyboard and press control F or command F to paste in place so we have just created a new circle or just copied the, uh, copied this um, previous circle into a new one but pasted uh, in the same place so if we select selection tool and press shift and alter on the keyboard and just resize it so it will just go down proportionately so see we have a new circle so I'll just align it a little bit to match the original image and I will swap the color from stroke to fill as it is an eyeball I'll now I will actually create a new circle I've just copied it and pasted it in the same place and bring it down a little bit and change this fill color to white to give it like a light reflection now so our eyeball is ready so I'll just select everything and press alter and shift and just drag it over to this side the eyes are done let's draw the other part or the other parts So now we have the drawing ready so we have we have drawn almost all parts I've um, skipped these two bits so that's okay and I skipped it intentionally so I'll just drag it over to the side and see just compare the look and we have actually achieved the same look of this image so now I'll select everything and click object and go to expand appearance and just click that so we have just expanded uh, the appearance so I will select everything again and go to object go to live paint and click make go back to object go to light paint and click on expand this artwork is now ready to apply color on so to do that we'll select that group and click on live paint bucket somewhere here it's not that yeah see it's here live paint bucket and the shortcut key is K so we'll color this just to show you now our fill color is black so if we click the hair part 
and everything is individually grouped so you can select face see this um, it's selecting the group when I hover over it so now we'll go to color swatches uh, I have it here but if you don't have go to windows and click on swatches right so from the swatches click on this button swatch library and click on skin tones so now we have the skin tones so we can pick color for the skin so I will just select this and color the skins so when you color it just make sure you just zoom it and make sure you have colored every part if you have these excess things you can remove it now by selecting this direct selection tool and just zooming into it click the click the object you wanted to remove and hit delete button twice on the keyboard and it will be deleted like this so I'll just remove all the access sometimes if you delete these connecting things you may lose the color but don't worry you can color it again so keep doing what you're doing press alt key and I dropper tool will be selected automatically just click on that color and that color will come here and release the alt key so it's much easier and I'll just take this is ready the vector is ready so this is how you create a vector from a drawing it could be a cartoon face cartoon character or your own face or anything else now it could be a bird or any any other object you can import the drawing into your artboard and by the process that I've shown you can create your own vector image from it so to make make this vector file more realistic we can apply shadows but for today's video I'm gonna end it here and I'll create another video if you're interested our next video which will show you how to shadow this character so that it looks more more lively more realistic thank you very much for watching this video if you like it please hit the like button if you don't like it you are open and free to hit the dislike button as well I don't mind and if you have any suggestions please comment below or if you have any question just comment below or message me I'll be more than happy to answer your questions whatever queries that you have so I'll see you again on our next video till then take care